We'll we have a special, it. like, topical, like, timely. Are you ready? This year, Halloween falls on a Friday. I'm excited to be able to celebrate the holiday on the weekend. What as the I love fuck are, are you costume. doing? I'm what reading a question. Doing? I'm my own man now. Don't hold me back, Dad. What are you? You move out to fucking Cal. Now you're hot shot LA. Travis, we love it. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of you big timing. So you can go to In and Out Burger whenever you want. And I so do. it's so it's ten o'clock there. I'm done with this. Do you want to read? Go it? ahead. Let's hear okay. your LA infections. You take the four oh nine to Halloween. Falls on falls. A <laughs> Californians, you guys remember? Okay, you ready? Yeah, I guess. I only do one thing on this show, but I guess I'll just slide it over. This year, Halloween falls on a Friday. I'm excited you to be able to celebrate. No, you? Okay, you take it. I don't want to. I'm done with that now. I don't do that anymore. Now it's Justin's doing Yahoo's, and I just fucking kick it. <laughs> <laughs> this year, Halloween falls on a Friday. I'm excited to be able to celebrate the holiday on the weekend, as I love dressing up in costumes. Would it be socially acceptable to go out on Saturday night in costume as well? Oh, sure. I October October 32nd. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I don't want the party to end, but I also don't want to be the only person there in costume. Trick or troubled. Hey, good news. You will be. You will I be the only person. Although, I, I don't know. I mean, October 32nd is becoming an increasingly popular day for people to dress up in costume. I don't know about you, Griffin. I didn't understand a fucking word Travis just said. Yeah. I didn't understand. Where was the inflection, the heart, the energy, the passion? He didn't He didn't fuck up reading, like, a word that was three syllables long, um, which is, uh, I don't know, I've, I've just become so accustomed to the sound of your voice, I guess. It's a, it's a, there, there is no, there is no day that brings more of a tonal shift to your life. Maybe January 1st rivals it. But like November 1st is such a momentous thing. It's like, all right, we're done with those bullshit holidays. Time to get down to that sweet stuff. Um, the temperature plummets like 30 degrees overnight. The fall, the fall leaves start a falling. Um, all the pumpkins turn to ash. And it's like, it's fucking go time. It's fucking turkey time. Have you guys, you guys think it's weird? I was thinking about this for the first time this year. I have a jack-o'-lantern on my porch now. Mm -hmm. I still carve. It seems like a lot of people aren't into that anymore. I don't see a lot of those anymore, but I still carve. Uh, and I have it there. And I was thinking about how I need to get rid of that. And then I was thinking, like, don't pumpkins kind of weirdly straddle the line between, like, Halloween and autumnal? Like, if I turn this bad boy around, mm -hmm. can it just be an autumnal decoration to yes. it rots, of course? Well, and then it's just, like, a commentary on life. Think about it. Think about it, people. I get I get this question because, like, so it, we'll take 30 seconds to talk about the fact that Griffin and I both dressed up as Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers this What year. the fuck, by the way? What the fuck? Without, I'm almost certain I told you that I was doing no, that before. No, we haven't spoken in three weeks. And, and our wives were both Linda. It was great. And it was totally cute. And our friend Bradbury dressed up, too. So we had this weird, like, are you? Yeah, I am. Did you? Yeah. Um, but so I've got a full beard and Bob has a mustache. So I like debated all day. Like, do I shave down for one night? Like, it, and it seems like all of this work, all this money you spend on costumes and time spending costume together and everything like that for maybe like six hours of enjoyment. And then you're just done. Like, it's not a thing like you're investing in for the rest of the year. Like you're, I beg to differ. I actually bought a wig that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of sexually. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that last word again. I keep doing that. I keep adding in the I meant to think the last words, but then I say them out loud. God damn it. <laughs> the mustache too. You know, God was, damn it. I was kind of depressing. This is the first year in like a long time that I haven't gotten like a Halloween costume together. It's always hugely stressful because Sydney and I burned like Wayne and Garth way too early in our yeah. relationship and we should have hung on to it for a while longer. Uh, so I it's always it's hard trying to come through, up with. Though, every seven years you can do the costume over. You can. You think I can revisit it? You think it's time? Yeah, I'm looking forward to five years from now when I can do Marty McFly again. We all are. Um, I thought you were TMNT. I was, but it was really just a t-shirt and a mask. I mean, it was fine. It just wasn't for a party. Like a lot of times at the Halloween party, I'm straddling that line between like people. Are people going to get this? Mm -hmm. And it is. Does it bring? Do I think it's personally entertaining? One year I was Six String Samurai from that hit indie film, Six String Samurai, and I walked around the neighborhood in just like a suit with a sword, because that's like the whole bit, and nobody got that one. So that was not a good costume. I thought that was a failure on my part. Yeah, I mean, we've all shot the shot the cannon indoors like that. 
Um, this was actually the first year I think ever where I was known for well i don't know the mo- the year the movie kick ass came out i bought a, a kick ass outfit but it was really tight and i had to wear jeans <laughs> underneath it because <laughs> my dick my dick was just like hey guys happy halloween oh cute costume i'm griffin's dick um you could see me like i'm just out there and uh the mask didn't fit over my giant head so i went maskless and so i just basically look like a a, a sex pervert who is really dumpy from the waist down and what were we talking get about I did, I did, I did, yeah. Speaking of this exact situation, last year, uh, right around Halloween time, but it is not Halloween, uh, a Halloween-related story, I was directing a uh, production of uh, It's a Bird, It's a Plane, Superman, and the young man who was playing Superman, who also is a listener of this program, hi, Drew, uh, he was... Drew Davenport? No. <laughs> no, no, no Drew Edwards. Uh, he was playing Superman, and he was trying to figure out uh, what? How the situation down there mm-hmm. needed to be sort of curtailed or restrained in some way, <laughs> and he tried several options and was asking me for feedback. And so I was in the unenviable position of trying to tell a seventeen-year-old how much of his dick could be showing. <laughs> did you ask one time? Did you ask him to describe his different experiments using ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> You fucking weirdo. Uh, Start again. Whisper. Please. um, One of my friends asked me to ask you what the best solution was. One of my friends did that. What was the best solution? He he asked. His name is George. Some sort of like weight belt, I think, ended up being like the thing. It was like compression shorts that you do for sports. (laughs) Was was one of the options he had lean into it? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, like, for the moms, tuck, tuck a few, <laughs> tuck a few fake dicks down there, and they won't know which ones, which ones, right? Just make it look the like old decoy dick. the old Cthulhu's beard. <laughs> <laughs>